Hi, we have come to the last part of the analysis of the 10 years of the GCO level exam. I'm so glad. Okay, now for the last portion, we are going to go through the extra test. Um, upon analyzing all the different kind of extra tests, there's only one that I think is worthy for us to really run through. So I'm going to go through with you in the next uh, short time. So please stay tuned and watch through the entire video, all right? So, and remember, if you like the video, click like. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos. We have come to the end of the analysis of the past 10 years of the GCO level practical exam. So for the last few steps, we should we should made up the seven to eight steps. I come up with this thing called the extra test. And among all the extra tests, one of which I think is worthy to run through with all of you is this portion called adding of metal. And usually two kind of metals will be given. Either they add a magnesium or zinc. And it actually happened in 2010, 2011, and even 2013, all right? Now, of course, for everything that we add, one of the most important thing we'll look out for are the observation. Now, whenever a metal is added, you will notice something. Effervescent, is observed now whenever we see an effervescent means that there are bubbles formed inside your test tube when there's bubbles formed inside the test tube we all know by now that you need to test for gas and some of you will be wondering so which one do i actually prepare well i'm going to tell you today imagine this is the unknown solution and i mentioned in most of the unknown solution inside contain definitely your water and your salt so let's call it X, Y. Now in solution, all this will dissociate and they will separate into their ions that look like this, for example. Now in this whole solution, it usually is a clear solution. And then you will add your metal, which is like either your MG or your zinc inside. So if you take a closer look and let's zoom in right now to all the ions that are present, one of the most likely gas that will be evolved is actually Yes, you are right, you saw the hydrogen, hydrogen gas. If you go up higher level of learning, you will realize that hydrogen has a very strong ability to act bond together with their own uh, uh, ions, which is hydrogen itself. So you will get back hydrogen gas. So that's one way of seeing it. Another way is we all have learned that when a metal plus water, you will get a metal oxide and hydrogen gas or a metal hydroxide and also a hydrogen gas. The common item here is your hydrogen gas. But of course, over here, whether it will form a metal oxide or metal hydroxide, it will depend solely on the position of it in the entire reactivity series of metal. So let's come back to here. When effervescent is observed, second, you have to test for the effervescent, right? So when I want to test for the effervescent, I will start to prepare a lighter splint. Why? Because I already have in the back of my mind that when I add a metal, hydrogen gas is most likely to be evolved. So I will prepare the lighter splint and then test for it. And if there's a positive test, I will write gas evolve when tested with like that split a pop sound is heard so this is the second part now how about the third part now this is a solution so in the beginning they will have a color so you need to know the color of the solution when the metal, so you have to name it whatever metal it is. So I write it M. Add it. The solution will. So solu what is the color of solution initially? When M something is added, will change to what color? You have to write down the before and after color of the solution. All right. Next. This, by now you will know this is a displacement reaction kind of uh, chemical reaction. So you must write down a layer of what color matter will be formed on top 
of the whatever metal that you are added. All right, so that is the next number four. And lastly, your test tube will feel warm. So it is an exothermic reaction because test tube feels warm. All right, so I have finished this entire portion. Now, some of you will be wondering, so Miss Selena, does this part here actually help us to find out uh, about our unknown? Well, it doesn't exactly tell us the, the, the actual unknown. However, if you are very familiar with the reactivity series of metal, you will notice that both magnesium and zinc is relatively high in the entire series. And that will bring me to the next part that I can actually assume certain things, all right? That is assumed. Because if you add magnesium, if there's a displacement, it's any of the metal that are below. And in your syllabus, it can be aluminium, zinc, iron, copper, which are inside your entire QA notes. If it's zinc that's added, the possibility will be what? Your iron and your copper. Okay, not forgetting there's SN and PB here. Your lead could be also one of them. So these are some of the things that you can see and you can uh, uh, relate to your theory. But if you can't, at that point of time, you cannot remember this. Do not fret. Write down the observation that what I've said. Remember in the solution, most likely hydrogen gas is evolved. Write down all this and you'll be fine. So I hope that the analysis of all the past 10 years of this practical have helped you a lot. If you like the video, remember to click like. Hey, thank you so much for watching through the entire video. And I know that your practical exam is coming up. So we have all the videos that's already prepared for you. So remember to check them all out, watch them again, and all the different videos that we prepared, whether it's the physics or the chemistry. And don't forget to check out our bio for our Project Lightbox series, okay? so. Stay tuned and if you like the video, remember to click like.